to Jim's workshop. Hey guys, we got Declan here today. He's going to help us service the lawn equipment. It's mowing season and we need to take care of the lawn mower, the weed whip, the edger, and the blower. You ready to go? Okay. Alright, so the first thing is we had this blade on the front of the lawn mower for scooping snow during the winter. And uh, we'll have to take that off because obviously we're not going to run that around during lawn mowing season so that's the first thing we'll do is get the blade off and put it in storage all right so we're back here in the shop the first thing i like to do is go around and get my part numbers for all of my spark plugs filters belts things like that then we'll come back we'll go to the parts store and we'll come back with all of those parts and then we'll come back in here and we'll get the lawn tires back on take the cleated tires off and start our maintenance here we go we went out to tractor supply and we got these tires these are just front wheel tractor tires for a garden tractor but they're going to work they're the right diameter for our axle to go on there it's a three quarter inch diameter and it's the right size of wheel. It's a little bit bigger tire, which I wanted anyway, because uh, when I hook this up to the lawnmower, then it it has a it slants to the back. So I wanted to make sure that it was a little more level. So these are all ready to go. We just slide them on the shaft, put our washer back on there. Then put our cotter key in there. Then once your cotter key's on there, you're good to go. Alright, so here's our leaf blower and I like Still products because they're good quality reputable brand made in America support American workers with their American jobs one thing you gotta look at when you're servicing your equipment is your spark plugs over at the vice grip garage Derek calls them sparkulators which is pretty humorous but he has a good video on how to read your sparkulators so on your still products you just pull this out and there's your sparkulator now here's a tip from germs workshop pro tip number 57 on your four stroke engines you're going to use a 13 16 socket on most of your spark plugs on your two strokers it's going to be a 5 8 so make sure you grab the right size socket and we've got the milwaukee fuel 18 or this is the 12 volt 3 8 ratchet these things are awesome We'll just zip that thing out of there. Look at that sparkulator. It's not too bad. But like I said, go over to Vice Skip Rip Garage and, and uh, watch Derek's video on how to read your spark plugs. We'll uh, take note of the, the part number on that and probably put a new one in there just to be safe. Why are you putting that back in there, dummy? Alright, so here's the new spark plug. So we're going to replace the old one. And pro tip number 63, you like to use some anti-seize. Just a little bit on the threads.
and that'll keep it from that's a lot that's not a little bit that'll keep it from getting stuck in the cylinder as it heats up let's take a little bit of that off don't wipe that on your pants or else Aubrey will get upset with you <laughs> you want to make sure and keep that off the electrode too so these are preset from the factory at 20 thousandths you can doesn't hurt to double check with a feeler gauge or a spark plug gapper gauge um, so these are also a torque to yield so we'll go ahead and put that in there it's got a little crush washer in there and once that crush washer washer reaches the bottom you turn it another half turn there you go and it's tight and then we put the spark plug boot back on that snaps in place and now our leaf blower is ready to go we'll put some fresh gas in there and that's all you need to do on the leaf blower all right so on the Dixon we're running the v-twin Kohler 18 horse this engine is a good engine it's got lots of power one thing we want to do though is make sure that we're getting plenty of air through the motor so we'll check the air filter out here it's got this foam filter on the outside of it that one looks okay but if we're already in there, probably wouldn't hurt to put a new one on. So we'll pick up a new air filter while we're at the store too. All right, so we went and got a new filter for this, new air filter. Go ahead and open that up, Declan. Okay. We got all of our parts today for servicing our lawn equipment from O'Reilly's here in town. And uh, they're really good about, if you don't, have if they don't have what you need they can get it in in a day or so so go ahead and put that on there and then you put put that on okay right in the middle yeah other way other way okay i put it on make the hold on make sure your filter is square on the housing i can get it Okay, can you put that on? You want me to get started for you? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. And then we'll put this then right on there. Right there. And then that gets... Okay, and then we put the retainer on there. Go ahead and tighten that down. good okay and then once you go through our old filter in the trash then we'll be good to go old filter all right so i put these cleated tires on during the winter time so i can get better traction in the snow so we'll go ahead and zip those off and put the lawn tractors tires back on telling you guys 
these Milwaukee's M12, it's no joke. The M18's are nice, but the M8, M12's will get a lot done. Okay, one thing about these Kohler engines, they've got a, the drain plugs way inside on the uh, side of the block. So we rigged up this extension to where it would come outside of the frame rail. And all you do is a valve. Make sure you got your drain plug handy there or your bucket. And your oil just drains out. It'll go faster too. And once your oil is drained, you close it up, change out your filter, and you're good to go. And we'll just remove the filter. Dad always taught me to take a little bit of the old oil and rub it around the O-ring before you put it back on there. It reduces your chance of cutting the O-ring. Go till it touches and then a quarter turn. Oil filter is back on. Now we'll fill it up with oil. Alright, so Kohler recommends 1.7 to 1.9 quarts of oil. Of course, we're not going to scrimp. We got the good stuff. Lucas Oil, made in USA, high performance. So this ought to do the trick for us. I mean, it is a V-twin after all, right? All right, so we'll put 24 more ounces in. We'll go ahead and crank her over and then recheck the level. You can always add more. It's not always so easy to take it out. Go ahead and replace the sparkulators before we fire it up. thing you want to do is just kind of look everything over check your hoses your belts 
make sure that everything looks good nothing's chafing fans look good cool on the hydrostat pumps just kind of check all of your fasteners and linkages make sure nothing's come loose it's real easy when you're in the middle of the season and you're going between baseball games and everything else to just kind of jump on the mower zip around the yard a few times and then head off to the next thing on your agenda so make sure you check all of your different pulleys look for worn out bearings and things like that check all of your wiring any kind of clamps and stuff like that all right so last year when we were running the edger it was running like it was all cammed up so we changed the spark plug and now Declan's cleaning off the air filter housing and we're gonna put a new air filter in there and we're gonna see if that helps with the tune-up so he's just wiping off all of the dirt and gunk off of the outside with the blue shop towel and he's going to get it all cleaned up for us and then we're going to put it back into the edger. Dad, whenever you're doing this, you should never wear a white shirt. <laughs> Is that right? What happens? Mom gets mad at you? Yep, and gets stains. <laughs> Another pro tip, whenever you're filling your fluids whether it be antifreeze or oil or whatever if you fill them sideways like this you don't get that big glub that you get where it splashes back in your face okay we added our oil Looks good to me. Alright, so Declan just jacked up the lawnmower. One thing we want to do, we're going to go under there and we're going to pull the blades out and we're going to sharpen the lawnmower blades. And while we're doing that, he's going to scrape the old grass off the bottom of the deck. So we always want to use these jack stands and be safe because if that jack failed, it would hurt us really bad if it came down on our heads or something. Good job. All right. And now, we got it. And now we'll let it down. Oh. Got it. Excellent. You have to do it very slowly. So now we got all the blades off. While we're sharpening the blades, Declan's gonna scrape all of the old grass off of the bottom of the deck. Helps to prevent corrosion. It helps to uh, increase the efficiency of the deck and getting all the grass clippings out from underneath the deck and into the catcher or back out into the yard. All right, you got it, buddy? Yep, I think so. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfectly clean but you want to get all the big chunks and stuff off, okay? Okay. So we're going to just sharpen these blades real quick. I'm using a flap wheel. And uh, one important thing to note here 
is if you go with the direction of of the blade it'll keep from rolling that edge over it'll look like you have a sharp edge if you go the other way but if you go this way it'll eat up more disc but it will make your blade sharper so here we go Now we've got a sharp edge on that blade and we'll put those back on the mower. Alright, looks like Declan did a pretty good job of scraping the bottom of the deck. We got our blades sharp, we got our deck scraped. Last thing we're gonna do is make sure we hit the grease zerks on all the spindles and all of the rotational points and all of our wheels and everything else. And uh, other than that, we're about ready to get mowing. All right guys, so today we got quite a bit done. Put some new tires on the garden cart that we used to haul around the edger and the string trimmer and the leaf blower and we changed all the spark plugs and everything changed the oil and everything got some new belts and uh, checked out all of our other fasteners and hoses and everything got all of our equipment ready to go for the lawn mowing season and as always if this video was helpful please like share and subscribe and as always remember to